program's built on connection, okay? Composure, all right? And toughness, okay? And resiliency, all right? You'll need all four of those in this game tonight. At some point, you need all four. We're gonna attack, attack, attack. Nothing worth having comes easy. You got to go through some pain, you got to go through some fight to get it, okay? That's how you win games on the road. You win it with your line of scrimmage. The men in this room, you set the tone for this game. Offense, defense, special teams, package together. When the lights go out and the scoreboard's done, we'll be in here celebrating. The dogs will take the field to fend off yet another challenger and try for their 28th win in a row. If Georgia gets it, it'll be an unprecedented third straight year of a perfect 8-0 record in SEC regular season play. And Georgia will defeat Tennessee here in Knoxville by a final of 38 to 10. Another impressive outing for the number one ranked Bulldogs. The streaks continue. Georgia goes unbeaten in SEC regular season play for the third consecutive year. 8-0 in the conference. Georgia has now won 28 straight overall. Dogs now 11-0. One more regular season game to go. That'll be on the road in Atlanta against Georgia Tech. The Dogs will try to finish off another perfect regular season next week. Hey guys, I am so proud of the physicality. It's an unbelievable job, a total team effort. All right, third down conversions. Wait, we're rolling there at halftime. Nine of 13! Yeah. Yeah. Where you at, sir? Sir, every one of them touched back. Help me yeah. out. Yeah. Ari, you guys stepped up, played great, did a great job. Dylan Bell. Yeah. 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 Team win, team win. Yeah, you better have something quick that win too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, team on three, team on three. One, two, three, team. Um, really proud of uh, our resiliency. You know, the kids did a great job. They knew it would be a tough environment. Um, they responded to a not so great start. We continue to improve and get better. Can't say enough good things about you know, our offensive staff and offensive game planning. Our, our kids buy in each week to the plan and uh, they get better each week. And that's all we're trying to do is find the best version of ourselves. So we give the kids a lot of credit. They did the hard work. They did the heavy lifting and uh, we got to continue to get better. I thought I thought it was a really good game. Um, I thought we ran the ball well, we passed the ball well. Um, obviously when our defense is getting stops like that and we're maintaining them, holding them on special teams so they're not getting any plays. Um, kind of just a field position battle and just execution and we were, we were able to out, um, out execute them. Defense gave up a touchdown on the first play. It was, it was a huge momentum swing for them, but for us it's basically no. Uh, they, they had a good play now we just got to go back on offense and swing back you know and um try to take that momentum back to us so when i first lined up i was like i had to make sure i was seven yards behind the quarterback first you know and then after that i was like all right when you say hey i got to see if the, the safety triggers and the corner triggers as well and they both did i just seen markers just wide open i was like all right that mm. he caught it and then i just like got so excited great great game by you you know he i know he's been waiting for this game for a little minute and um Though his, his number was called tonight, he had an opportunity to make plays, and he made those plays. So, uh, like I said, that's a great kid. He's he a hard worker. He comes in every day, busts his tail, and um, the, you saw, you saw what, um, what hard work could do for you. They're all coming for us. So that, 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 that's what it is. I mean, we're, we're not concerned with who's coming after us. We're concerned with who we're coming after.